Ahsoka universe. Well, I'm not wearing Ahsoka shirt today for the first time in a long while. But hey, it's very cool in the morning, so full of RP. NFL is also on, as you know, and I like that sport very much too, but I still spend most of my weekend uh, afternoons, evenings watching soccer. And as I said in my preview for this weekend, most of the how to say interesting action was on sad Saturday, meaning most of the big teams were playing on Saturday because uh, Champions League is come, coming up. Every league wants to give their teams a chance to prepare properly, so all right. But uh, I thought that on Sunday the games I watched were actually more interesting. <laughs> so it was kind of Saturday, but and uh, I. I agree, and as as you see, that my choice of games really uh, contributed big in my Saturday being good because although I had the chance to probably watch the most interesting game on Saturday, I chose another game, and yeah, bad on me. Uh, and yeah, Sunday it was largely more interesting. I have to say that there was there were quite some interesting games i mean not the ones that will uh, grab you and uh, ahead of uh, time and you say ah oh, this is a must watch but then in the end yeah it was actually more interesting uh i made the decision to unless there's really something big happening and i mean really, really big i will not make videos uh, during the weekend, I will not post during the weekend anymore unless there's European qualifiers and, and some of it is a little bit. But uh, for a regular league play, I make two videos uh, one uh, a preview, then uh, three videos. One a preview, then you will get uh, what I watched, which probably a car video, and then Tuesday morning you have uh, my review of the entire weekend. Uh, it's a more doable schedule for me. Uh, otherwise, I'm going a little bit too nuts, to be honest. So that's uh, that. Also, I was really sick this weekend. I mean, I'm feeling much better now. But Saturday, I was basically constantly lying in bed. Yes, yes, it was already a little bit better. Uh, so I didn't pre-shoot any Champions League jersey review or League A jersey review. Um, I actually think that for the Champions League jersey review, I wanna wait until the first match day happened because there's still a few Champions League kits to be released um, or that I didn't see properly yet. Uh, I'm thinking mainly Nike third jerseys. I think there was one or two that I have. Yeah, the PSG one, for instance. Uh, I don't think has been properly released yet. So you know, uh, because of that, I wanna. Um, hold on just a teeny bit more for those and I know this pushes my Europa League jersey review into October but so be it and I'm not necessarily sold yet on a League A jersey review um, although I have to say there are some interesting jerseys in there so uh, the League A is for me a really on the fence given it really didn't help that their performance in Europe last year wasn't all that great, so uh, I barely have watched Liga uh, uh, this year, and to be honest, I never, um, except for a little thing happening on Saturday, uh, Saturday, I never really was that tempted to do so. So yeah, um, I have to see. I have to see. I'm really on the fence about it, uh, and it's mostly also time because those videos take a lot of time and I might I might not do it now, maybe during the season, maybe. Let's see. Okay, lots of talking. What did I watch? Uh, Saturday, yeah, that was already interesting. I actually thought, I decided, okay, I'll forego the Real Madrid uh, early kickoff. I really need, I, I was really sick, I needed to rest. So I said the earliest I'm gonna, gonna, gonna watch is three o'clock and then there was already Fiorentina Juventus and the Italophile that I am, that's where I stuck. I did not watch the Bundesliga uh, conference that I had the chance to. Um, I was, when I saw that how Fiorentina Juventus was going, I was briefly thinking, shall I watch 
United, Manchester United against Leicester City. No, I stuck with Fiorentina Juventus, and I have to say it was actually a lively game at, at the beginning with a very weird jersey matchup. Uh, I mean, Fiorentina are purple, yes, but Juventus in white with red pants. That's not a Juventus look. It's decidedly not Juventus, and I, I didn't like it. Let's put it. That. I, I, I don't want to go as strong as I hated it, but I really did not like it. Uh, this was a weird look that I hope we won't see a whole lot, but I guess we will. For me, red is not a Juventus color. I, I know when they got promoted, I think they played in uh, black, white, with a little bit of red, um, which. I honestly is a is a color combo that I like, but it's not a Juventus color to me. Red is one of those those colors that I think does not befit Juventus. Uh, when I think Juventus, uh, blue, yellow, pink, those are the ones that I, that I wanna see on a, a uh, associated with Juve. Not, absolutely not red. So. Um, so for that reason, that was a review. Uh, the game, I actually thought that uh, Fiorentina had the much better of the game most of the time, but had uh, trouble uh, finishing. I think it's uh, easily said. And then in the second half, the game really flattened. Uh, at the end, there were, uh, I, I, I think there was one big chance where Kedira, if he takes the shot, it's a goal for Juventus, but he decided to give it to Ronaldo. It was not really in a better position. You've got to be honest with that. And so um, it ended nil nil. Uh, again, for me, one big reason to watch Fiorentina is Chiesa. I think he's outstanding. He's a joy to watch. One of my favorite favorite players to watch at the moment. Uh, then it was, of course, now that I have the chance, I had to watch. Uh, Lask play at Sturm Graz. Um, I almost regretted that one. I mean, the game was not a good one. Lask have, having the better bet of the game. Um, hitting once the post, then, uh, you know, dominating but without much penetration, without really getting uh, a lot of danger in front of the box. But then in the second half, Sturm tried a little a little bit more and then Despotov, a Bulgarian national team player, came on and that almost paid off instantly as he had a run towards the box or the 50-50 ball where our captain Trauner uh, doesn't hit the ball but hits his head. He would have been through. Um, I have to say a little bit of luck there. Uh, again, there was some we didn't get a penalty for hands, although this one was probably somebody sure right, but still. Um, but yeah, he. We were lucky there in the 70th, and then uh, when I really thought this will be goalless or even Sturm Graz will get the lucky punch because I really didn't like how we were playing. Uh, a throw in from James Holland bounces twice in the box, once over a defender, Foster Goiginger, who just takes it and uh, slams it in. And then a minute later, uh, we, ca we catch them again on the counter, and Klaus gets a rebound from, I think it was a shot from uh, Tete, was bounced by the goalkeeper, and Klaus puts it in. So within two minutes, two goals, and that seals the deal. Was not a great performance, was a teeny bit lucky, but overall deserved. Um, and so you get three points. And on it was to Leipzig playing Bayern. And when I switched over, I wanted to hear the interview. Yeah, it was already 1 0 Bayern uh, through a goal by Lewandowski, it was really well taken in the third minute. And yeah, I didn't even think about watching uh, Norwich against. Manchester City. I really thought it's gonna be a massacre. I had most everything but Norwich City getting two early goals. Uh, Manchester City through Aguero only managing to pull one back before the half then and I probably will say more about that in my uh, video over the, uh, the week. Otamendi completely unaware that he's being pressed and Pupi can make it 3-1. I mean, that was for me the slipper of the weekend. Although, Arsenal will come close, we'll talk about that. And yeah, they only pulled one back late and Norwich City 
uh, pulled off the big upset um, and you know hence Liverpool. Liverpool it looks really good <laughs> this, uh, for the, they had to be the winner of the weekend. More on that later but we'll watch uh, now Bayern Leipzig, Leipzig at, uh, versus Bayern because that's the one I watched. Bayern so dominated Leipzig in the first half. The, um, also jersey matchup I have to say this Bayern uh, third kit in navy blue if you see it in game it looks actually really nice it's just uh, for me the colors are a little bit off and the, um, those lozenges that they have in there are also a little bit uh, they, uh, it looks close up not so nice uh, from our front from this is I actually really like it um, Bayern did not let Leipzig breathe in fact they actually played the Leipzig way uh, very much pressing uh, suffocating the opposition they had no idea what to do the only thing that Bayern did not do is score a second goal they got a penalty that was taken away by VAR and it was a tight call because Sabitzer Australian national team player I think it was on Coman was it Gnabry? one of those two uh, I mean he's stepping there he doesn't want to get on the ball he wants to get on the ball and he almost hits him and then uh, he takes a flight. Um, I think if it would have stood, I actually think uh, Leipzig could not really complain either. Yes, it would have been a contentious one, but I found it, to me it was really a 50-50 call. And I called that in a way changed the game uh, almost, because um, with that penalty Bayern goes up 2-0 and done and dusted uh, and it would have been a deserved lead I mean Bayern really should, should have made a second goal in that first half and then they get then they concede a penalty themselves rather stupidly I have to say uh, just before the half time and Forsberg makes it 1-1 one, one. Uh, they said it, the game was turned on its head uh, I wouldn't say that's a turn as head because Leipzig didn't take take a lead, but it was not a deserved equal as Bayern absolutely dominated. But then in the second half suddenly Leipzig comes out and actually pressures Bayern and it's a much more even game and in the end I think the one one draw I mean I would still give a lot of credit to Bayern and say that they were the team that would have deserved it. But in the second half it was a much more open game. Uh, I thought Bayern had the winner in the last minute when Head up by Sule just scraped the bar at the post. That should have been the deserved win. I mean, I don't like Leipzig, I don't like Bayern, but I have to say that Bayern did a deserved win. But yeah, 1 1 Leipzig fans of Bayern, and I honestly think they don't know really why. And then put the girls to bed. Uh, was for me only one game really to watch. It was Barcelona against Valencia. However, when I went down, I knew it will be a little bit late. Order a 2 0 for Barcelona. What? That quick? Yep. Uh, the young guy. Now I don't. Uh, Fati, something like that. He made the 1 0 uh, in the second minute and then assisted Frankie de Jong. However, surprisingly, Valencia pulled one back. That actually posed a little bit of trouble for Barcelona uh, because suddenly the game that they thought they had well in, in, in the back became one that was a little bit more on shaky ground. But uh, Valencia then had actually their chances. Second half, though, uh, it was then quick. It was in the 52nd and the 61st, I think. Uh, first Griezmann, nice shot, and then Suarez. No, no, it was uh, Piquet. If you watch that much soccer as as I did this weekend, everything becomes a little, little, little blur. No, it was Piquet uh, who does the one off, and then um, Suarez took a really nice shot. And I think Suarez then got the second one, make it five one, and you know, at that point I was even flipping over to Inter, who I think hung on to a narrow one 0 win over Udine. And yeah. Barcelona runs uh, uh, away winners, but Valencia actually gets a really nice goal to make it 5-2. Is Barcelona out of crisis? Well, we have to see. Um, we know that Atleti lost for the first time to 
Athens, Athens, Barcelona, um, narrow stat cap, and Real Madrid uh, also is now still in the uh, conversation because they beat. Um, I don't know who they beat actually. It was a three-two. <laughs> it was a three-two win up after being three 0 up. As I said, it's all a blur, and I didn't watch that game. Uh, yesterday. I, at first I thought, shall I really do watch something in the afternoon? Yes, I watched something in the afternoon. I said, I wanna still recover, land the couch with my wife, enjoy some time together. And I put on uh, Brescia against Bologna, and boy was I rewarded for that one. I have to really say I was totally rewarded for, for that one. Um, Bologna initially had more, more, more of the game, Brescia then, uh, in the 10th minute, through Donnarumma, I, I want to know whether he is, has relations to, the, to Milan goalkeepers. Um, makes it 1 0, and shortly after, 10 minutes later, 2 0 for Brescia. A uh, little bit out of the blue, but uh, Brescia then has seemed to have the game under control. Bologna though pulls one back uh, late in the second, uh, in, in the first half. Second half of the first half, I was about to say. Um, but immediately thereafter, Brescia makes it 3-1 and you think the game was a lively game, it was a game that was a, I enjoyed. I actually, one other reason why I like Serie A is because all the stadiums, they're still the old stadiums and yes, it's not good for the game in per se because you know, they're all kind of a little bit, you can see that they're old. Um, but they all have their own character and then the whole mountain scenery in the background, mwah, I absolutely love I absolutely love that one. It really seemed like the game is played somewhere on a hillside. Uh, I absolutely love that, uh, that scenery back there. And I have to say, Gerard Jersey match was also really a pleasant one. I mean, Brescia in blue, white, Bologna in white with the nice sash and the dark blue. Uh, it was a really enjoyable watch to watch that one. Um, I did not see the beginning of the second half and I missed the red card for Brescia and at that moment I, I came down and there was a, I don't know if it already happened, but I know there was a red card given and I thought, oh, this might get tight. Yes, because Bologna immediately thereafter gets a 3-2 and then actually equalizes uh, before the 60th. Oh, this is gonna be tight and then they get the winner. Brescia could not hold on, uh, gave up a 2-0 lead. Uh, Bologna was overall the better team, I gotta admit, but Brescia made the goals. But boy, another 4-3 game. Three weeks in Serie A that I'm watching and I've got three 4-3 four, three games. I feel quite rewarded for that one after all the crap I was watching on uh, Saturday. I mean, Barcelona was not a odd crap, but uh, the tension was not there for a long time. Bayern, Leipzig in the second half really flattened out. The last game was downright bad and also the Fiorentina against you were petered out. So uh, I felt really rewarded for that one. Then I said, okay, let's watch Arsenal play at Watford. I gotta watch some Premier League. Also was rewarded for that one. Arsenal took uh, get took a 2-0 lead at halftime through Obama Young. It was two counter-attack goals. While Watford really chance played chances and it got even worse in the second half where they got chance after chance. It was not, you know, opportunities I should rather, rather, rather say because um, it could have been better. But the one thing that has to be said that all in the first half, when Doozy, uh, I mean uh, Wat Watford was very often pressing high, really high, uh, especially on goal kicks. And Arsenal kept playing half the player at the box, half the ball being played to Guendouzi, who is suddenly under, under, under pressure and only through Watford's ineptitude to convert on that, it did not get punished earlier. So for the third time when it happened, Socrates plays it directly to um, to the Watford uh, player. I think it was still the fail. Uh, who actually was in the box, so the goal actually should not have stood. Uh, but that's a real sign. I mean, Arsenal deserve to be punished for that. Uh, the ball goes to Cleverly, who makes it then uh, 1 2. And then Watford really should have gotten the equalizer. They never really, really made When Ismail Lazar came on, their big signing, uh, couldn't make the goal, but they 
get a penalty because the shaky Arsenal defense, namely uh, Socrates and David Luiz, uh, David Luiz gave, gave up a really stupid penalty. 2-2. Uh, and I think Ismail Lazar could, could have gotten the winner, which would have been everything but deserved. Uh, everything but undeserved, I have to say. I think there were chances, uh, opportunities 27 to uh, 9 for Watford. I mean, on goal, uh, it was a lot closer. I think it was something like 9. 7 to 5 or something like that. Our, Arsenal was a little bit closer there, but really, uh, Watford should have won that one. And I gotta say, I mean, Arsenal on the back, yeah, there will be many, 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 many goals scored against them. Cannot wait for them to play against Liverpool and get annihilated. Uh, oh no, they already played against Liverpool and got annihilated. So, yeah, uh, Manchester City, whatever. And then in the evening I said, okay, NFL, let's watch NFL, uh, because I saw it was the Texas against the Vikings very quickly. I was so excited, I got there, it was already 7-0 for the Packers, Our first play I see is zip pass Rogers. it's 14-0 against the Vikings. And then I did some things in the house and I see, uh, I went for the trash I think, and then I see even another run play and it's 21 nil at the beginning of the second quarter and I'm beaming. Then I watch it and the Vikings pull one back. Then they get another touchdown. Fudger is chalked off, they have to take a field goal. Uh, it's 21-10 at the, at the half and at that point I'm already putting on Milan on the second screen. I decided I'm gonna watch NFL because uh, watching Milan, Milan is not playing great. So I wanna know what Milan is doing, I'm a big fan. But NFL, it's NFL. Um, the game, <sighs> Green Bay couldn't get any, anything going, and Minnesota was almost moving at will, but Turner was killed them in, in, in it. They got one more touchdown, stupid penalty denied them uh, a two point conversion, and Green Bay somehow hung on. I mean, I'm happy that the defense is great, but the offense was not clicking at all any, anymore, and I didn't like that. I'm still wearing the Packers today because I mean if you start your season with two divisional wins against your two biggest rivals that's always fun but I was not pretty that was not pretty Milan was also not pretty uh Verona got an early red card and I said oh this is gonna turn into Milan's favor yeah but Calabria had a hit hit the post but Verona came back and Verona had probably the best chance in the first half they should have take, taken the lead. They really played their hearts out. And although Milan controlled, they are so slow. And again, it's basically a lineup that could have played last season. We thought we're all gonna change. We're gonna play exciting uh, possession-based soccer. No, it is the dullest form of soccer that they're playing. It is slow. And against an opponent that you should, by all rights, beat, you cannot get anything going. Even against 10 men. This just kills me. Even the red card. Uh, yes, it was a high boot. Yes, it hit the ear. Blah blah blah. But um, yeah, it's just uh, VAR took center stage at that game. I have to say, uh, and correctly a lot of tight calls. Uh, Milan then when Rebic came, came, came on, there were some more. Uh, there was a little bit more um, penetration effort there. Uh, but it took a penalty that well, had to be confirmed by VAR, but I think it was the right call that Piontek put in, so finally he's off the Schneid. Maybe that's all he, he, he needed. Uh, but at that point, you know, Verona hit the post, uh, Milan also hit the post. I mean, it was really at that, that point it could have cracked, and Milan actually made the 2 2 0, but Piontek uh, pushed the ball out of the goal. And it was really a split second. If he's a little bit earlier there, it would have counted. And all nerves would be calm. But no, in the last, with the last effort of the game, uh, Calabria, A, takes the, with the arm, takes out the uh, Ver Verona attacker. And the referee initially gives a penalty, but the foul occurred just before the box. Although I think if this would have been a penalty, no one could have complained. Calabria also rightfully sent off for that one. Um, 
and then the free kick kicked by the wall, uh, kicked into the wall. Fortunately, but then the rebound, who almost made it in. Mila hangs on to a messy, messy one nil win. I'm not looking forward to the derby next week. I'm not gonna watch it. I'm not looking forward to it. I'm already seeing Milan losing that one. Milan, I mean, three games and goal, goals two scored, one given, uh, one conceded. Everything one nil. I mean, that speaks volumes. This is not the Milan I want to see. I have, to, I have to think that Boban and Maldini and Paisens are really, really disappointed. So I'm ending this kind of on a bum note. Yes, I'm happy that my two favorite teams in the NFL and in Serie A, or except Lusk, won. I mean, all my favorite teams kind of won, but all so messy and so that I'm not really proud of anything there. Uh, but then my, I told, told this to my wife and said, but what, what would, would you rather have, Messi wins or not? And I said, yeah, I actually like Messi wins. I really like wins where a uh, team steals something, but I have to say for Milan and the Packers, I wouldn't say they stole the game. Uh, and I also have, have, have to say, looking forward, it doesn't fill me with confidence. Let's put it that way, what they were showing. A win is a win. We have the derby next week for Milan, and I'm gonna see what the Packers are doing. Uh, I also watched for a little bit the red zone and had Milan on, on, on second screen, but that was like, uh, actually too much for me. Two games um, on two screens, I think that, that, that that's a little bit the red zone where you made so, such quick changes. That was honestly too much for me, so I was actually happy to stay with that game. Okay, that's what I watched last week, this weekend. Again, Saturday meh, Sunday better, but ended a little bit on a bum note. Uh, not on a bad note, but a little bit, uh, you know, not the right note. Let's put it that way to make it a glorious crescendo to finish the weekend. Anyway, let me know what you watched and whether you agree with what I said about the games that I watched. Uh, if you watched any, any of these, I'd, I'd be interested in that. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Yes, it's long. I had a long drive here. Um, and yeah, subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.